How to create coloring books for Amazon KDP with Canva, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a quick overview of how you can get started with creating your own coloring books that you can publish on Amazon KDP. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into creating our own coloring book, we are just going to take this example book. So I just searched for coloring books over here on Amazon and you can see a lot of the top sellers are actually KDP books. And this is an example of this. So you guys can see over here, they have some basic pictures. They have very large images. It's for kids. So it's marketed towards kids and then they have some text as well. So we're going to be building something like this. We're going to build a children's coloring book and there are three methods that you can use. First off is that you can use a template. Secondly, you can use elements and then thirdly, you can use third party applications like Pixabay. So I'm going to show you all those. So let's get into it now. I am going to be building the interior of the book. I'm not going to be building this page, which is like the front page and the front and back. I'm not going to build those. We're just going to focus on building the interior. So from this page onwards, however, if you want to build the interior, you actually have a KDP Amazon cover calculator and you're going to add the number of pages you're going to create in this and this will give you the accurate measurement template for the kind of cover that you're looking to create to make sure the design looks very nice and uh, prints out very seamlessly when amazon actually goes ahead and prints it now going back we're just going to head on over to canva now and the first thing you can do is i'm just logged on to my canva account this is a free account and we're going to be building this for free but i do recommend uh, upgrading to Canva Pro simply because you're going to get access to a lot more features and I think for six dollars or seven dollars it's pretty worthwhile to subscribe to their pro version but now in our search bar all we're going to do is search for coloring book so once you search for coloring book you can see there are a bunch of different templates like these ones there are so many different ones and you can pick out any one you want to you can just take whichever one we want now I'm just going to browse these a little because i just want to be sure about the one that i pick so i'm just going to search for kids coloring book so this one is actually such an amazing little coloring book and it's like the entire coloring book created for you however this is a paid item so the creator has made this a paid item but you can open it up anyways and you guys can see over here now we have this loaded although there are some watermarks if you pay for it you can remove the watermarks or you can even just go on ahead take the template so i've just taken this template from the creator and instead of having to pay for you know the entire thing uh i can do a simple thing so I'm going to remove this. I'm going to make this text a little different. I want this to be a little different. So uh, I'm going to remove the first page. I'm going to start with turtle and I'm going to change the text style. So I'm going to make it hollow so people can color within the text as well. And I can make the thickness however I like it. So I'm just going to make it like this. And I'm just going to do that for all the text as well. And now I have this turtle. Now, this is a copyrighted images or image or, you know, it's an uh, element that is paid, but it's a paid element. But I'm just going to click on elements on the left side of my screen over here. And I'm just going to search for turtle. I'm going to go into graphics. And you can see I can find a free version of a turtle. So I'm just taking the free version and I'm expanding it, rotating it a little. So it fits perfectly and now I have a ready-made page. So it's that simple and easy. You can do this for all the templates with their paid elements. Just remove the paid elements and enter free ones instead. So now if I search for octopus, I'm going to go into the graphics section and I'm going to find a simple outline version like this one. So now we have an octopus like this and we can place it right on our screen over here. Convert the text into the effect section, go into hollow and make it hollow and now you can see i have two pages so on and so forth i can customize all these pages some of these are not even royalty images so some of these elements are free versions like this one over here the hammerhead shark this is a free image because it doesn't have any watermarks and you can really do this with as many templates as you like now this is just an example of one basic uh, template, but if you want to get started from scratch, you can just go on ahead, click on create a design. You can click on custom size over here, go into inches, and I'm going to make this, uh, this one is uh, 21 by something. So I'm actually going to go and search for A4 
And I'm just gonna open up a blank A4 sheet like this one, click on customize this template, it's a basic little one, and I'm actually going to uh, remove the borders, if you want you can remove them, if you want to keep them you can keep them, that is totally up to you. Now I'm gonna use this one instead, I can see you know there are a bunch of different templates, I think I'm gonna continue with something like this and now I'm going to build a different kind of a coloring book interior. So now I'm going to go into the element section and I can search for things like um, let's say I have something different. So let's say I have pizza. I can go into the graphic section and now I can make like a food themed coloring book. So I have pizza and once I clicked on the pizza I got recommendations for similar looking elements and I can just create all of these uh, in different pages. You can also take inspiration from a pre-existing one. So you guys can see that this one is like a mixed one. You can make it themed onto one item. You can also make adult coloring books in this fashion. But let's just continue on. So I'll just show you guys how to make a couple of pages. Once you have your element set up, and I'm just going to rotate this, make it slightly larger. Now I just like to click on duplicate page, remove the central element, and then I can add my second element like so. So on and so forth. I actually want to write, you know, the item names on the top. So that's why I'm leaving some space. If you don't want to do that, you can add more design elements in the element section as well. So this is the second way that you can build your coloring book. Well, the third way is actually going to be a lot more creative. That is going on Pixabay. So Pixabay is a large marketplace or large inventory of free images that you can use. And if you go on to Pixabay and search for coloring book pages or coloring book, you actually can find a lot of different designs. You can see there are so many detailed ones, especially if you're looking to build something like an adult coloring book, you can go on ahead and use these ones. But you can see this is like an amazing little page template and I can just click on save image as. I'm going to save this patterned image and now I'm just going to Canva, open a blank canvas. So I've just created a blank canvas over here and I'm going to click on paste. So I'm going to click on uploads over here on the left side of my screen, click on upload files. I'm going to go into my downloads and upload the pattern that I just downloaded off of uh, Pixabay. So I'm using Pixabay as the base for this new coloring book. And now that this element has been uploaded, I'm going to place it over here expand the design so it fits perfectly and now i have such an amazing interior for an adult coloring book you can create you know more designs on top of this so you can actually take something like uh, a basic element such as face and you can place like an element like this and you know build faces on top so it like you know pops and it's super detailed especially if you're looking to build something for adults so if i have an element like this where i can edit colors i'll uh, just make sure you select an element where you can edit colors so i can edit the colors of this one and i would convert it to white and i would just expand it like so and then you can choose whatever you want. You can even leave it plain as it is. But we can name a coloring book that is based off of patterns like this into abstract coloring book. These are super popular on Amazon KDP. So if you actually search for things like this, so you can see this one. This is like a bestseller on Amazon. And it is a coloring book for adults. And I'll just show you guys the designs inside. So you can see over here, they have just some complex designs, like the one we just picked out off of Pixabay. And Pixabay has a very large inventory of these kinds of designs. So you can make a bunch of different coloring books based on multiple different themes. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.